That's when it's my favorite. It makes your eyes doing good. Yeah. Half price if you buy two. Wow. You again. Is this your store? <laughs> no. My father's. How much? 800 rupees, please. 800 rupees? Okay, okay for you, 550. Incredible. So, does your father usually leave you here alone? No, he's away fighting the devils. Oh. The Indian Army called him up, did they? No, he volunteered. Really? Well, if it was my choice, I wouldn't leave you here alone. All right. That's 300. Bet the deal. 400 rupees plus Ganesh. <laughs> you don't want this. It's broken. See? You don't know the story? Ganesh fought Parashuram while standing guard at his father's door. Yes, to defend the honor of his father, Shiva, and got his tusk hacked off for his troubles. Hmm, interesting. Anyway, it's not for sale. <sighs> right on time. Okay, look, 600 rupees. You can keep the change. Hey, wait! Hey! You need the guy. Oh? And what'll that cost me? <laughs> My sister needs me. Oh! to Oh! So, you can it. How much for it? Not for sale. Not for sale. Not for sale. <clears throat> what? Don't get me wrong. Decent technique on the lift. But I'd like my Ganesh back. Please. <sighs> Fine. A for effort, kid. People aren't allowed across the bridge. It's too dangerous. Listen, kid. It's been really fun. You need to make yourself scarce. I have a spare bed in the store. 300 rupees. Best deal in all of India. Ah. Okay, no thanks. I need to get on this truck. Bad idea. The rebels, they hurt people. Listen, I need to help my friend, okay? Tell you what, when I get back, pizza's on me. Deal? Deal.
red door. That's it. Better than nothing. Here we go. It's just an act of war. Nothing you can't handle. your rash yes sir how do i know you're not smuggling something in here arms up hey it's dangerous to be out so late hey where do you live what are you deaf answer him i said where do you live i'm in the middle of something uh, yes, sir. Meet me inside. Understood. You, with me. Man the gun. Sir, what about her? Just let her through. You heard him. Get going. Lucky for them, I've got somewhere to be. The door. Check. Ends in an hour. I need sleep. You can sleep in the truck. No, thank you. Is that the last of them? Almost. There's a couple more in the alley. You moving out tonight? Can't wait. I'm tired of these people. No. Massage says one week. Another week in the shit home. Remember the end goal, brother. Oh, shit. I might. What is it worth to you? Not good enough. <laughs> Chasing down small trinkets all over India. To join the real fight. Nice and easy. Out of these small operations, when do we take a 
fight to the diary. My son says he needs more time to prepare. The government thinks it's a show. They won't think that for much longer. These two targets. One was the warehouse, the other. <sighs> You're in the wrong place, girl. What the hell? <laughs> 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 Should relax. You'll live longer. Relax? It took me weeks to track down a soft. The man's as unpredictable as they come. He's just another warmonger with no war to fight. No, you don't know him like I do. He changes location and routines by the hour. We'd be foolish to take unnecessary risks. We? Let's get one thing straight. This is my gig. You want your share? We play by my rules. What's it gonna be? He's the one with the beard. That's the spirit. Hmm. I'm handsome. If you're into psychopaths. Nobody's perfect. Where's base camp? Top floor balcony. All right. a street route all planned out, but they'll be looking for us now. What do you suggest? I'll think of something. Come on, I'll give you a boost up. <sighs> there you go. Thank you. so bad. Now what? Patience. <sighs> Up here. Really? Really. <gasps> Careful on this one. You sure this is safe? No. We're moving away from a soft stain. Yeah, we're taking the long way. Now I'll see why you're always late. No. 
I got it. Cobra 1 to Cobra 5, over. You see? It's too close. We have activity, over. Copy that, Cobra 1. Shit. <laughs> Where to now? Up? Okay. That's where we need to be. But not getting through here without a blowtorch. So, now we improvise. Oh, that's what we were doing already. Where are you all? Just exploring our options. Sit tight. Well, she certainly lives up to her reputation. about that. How about we avoid crates from now on? Okay, good deal. Up ahead. What was that? <laughs> Shit. I swear to God, sir. Some cheap office supplies if you want them. You were almost this talkative on the job. Yeah. So just take a moment. Here's one. <laughs> oh, that works. Let's find that disc. Thank you very much. Watch our backs, yeah? Yeah. An antique shop. He's been a busy boy. How much do you think it's all worth? Enough to keep his little insurrection going for quite some time. No one will miss this. Salah and the tiger. Maybe he's closer than I thought. It doesn't bother you. These are all Indian artifacts. It's not my fight. Hmm. I'll just borrow this. Fraser, mm -hmm. come here. That looks promising. It's locked. Not for long. What was that move? Western Ghats, Oisala territory. Shit. No, it's all right. Nothing we didn't already know. It's beautiful. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. He's gone. 
bridge. It's time to go. Nadine Ross. What a pleasant surprise. Ah, ah, careful, brothers. This tiger's got claws. A soft. Oh, all these years. And you haven't aged a day. You too can't. <laughs> Are you looking for work? I hear that shoreline's under new management. Temporary setback. Nothing I can't handle. Of course, of course. Pity, though. My men and I could use someone of your caliber. Why are you here? I mean, this... This isn't your area of expertise. It, it is a nice collection, I must say. Chloe Fraser. Collector of antiquities. A thief? You're working for a thief. Sir, we have a situation. <gasps> what? I'll be right there. The disc. Oh, right. About that. At first, I mistook you for just an average rebel. But you have managed to find the Hoysala Empire. That's not bad. Their greatest treasure. The Tusk of Ganesh. Now that's not an easy find. What are you doing? Three Persian invasions, three separate wars, and all these years later, no one has found it. We're close. You're lost. And the only chance you have of even narrowing down its location is to find someone who can help you crack this artifact. Someone with an extensive knowledge of Hoysala society. Exactly. An expert in their culture and history. My rates are reasonable. A parasite who exploits our struggle in order to fatten her pockets. Hmm. So that's a no? Felt like a no. <laughs> You've got balls. I like that. But I don't need any more so-called experts. Shoot them. Throw their bodies in the river. No need. We'll throw ourselves out. Oh, after them! Hold me! Through the window! Come on! We need to get across the river! Messy, but effective. You were going to sell me out, weren't you? It's called improvisation. God, who's being unprofessional now? What the hell is that supposed to mean? It means you let Asav get the jump on us. I'm starting to wonder whether you're worth the 50%. I knew it. You were going to give me up. Guess a leopard can't change her spots. You know nothing about me. Fair warning. Last person who betrayed me wound up dead. There's your river. Yeah? And your guy better be there. Shit! Yeah, well, time to go!
we're going out there. On schedule. Should hit land in about an hour. Great. The tusk of Ganesh. No wonder the whole solar capital was ransacked. Look at this thing. Any luck? I don't need luck. I'd say we can use all the luck we can get. Are you still hung up on Asav's so-called expert? Don't worry. If Asav's not in the gets already, he'll be right on our heels. Plus, he's got weapons, transports, hundreds of men. Like I said, don't worry. <gasps> Looks like some kind of key. Maybe. Let's see. Okay. The trident was Ganesh's weapon. The bow and arrow was Parashurama's. And the axe was a gift from Shiva. The great battle. What? The battle in which Ganesh lost his task. I bet we find these symbols. We find the task. Not bad, Fraser. Yeah, well. You like my dad for that. Hindu myths were his thing. Might have rubbed off. We must be proud. Sun's almost up. I'll go get ready. Nice work. Go to settle an argument. Just for my peace of mind, all right? <laughs> well, nice view. And look. How weird. I'm sorry I doubted you, Chloe. The Sosala? Hoi Salah. It's not a modern structure, so we're definitely on the right track. What? I don't like it. You don't like anything? No. We've gone nearly a hundred kilometers with no sign of a sov. Glass half full, maybe we got the jump on them. Unlikely. I'll find the tusk. A salve's on you. Understood. Meet you back at the car. Yep. Ah, right where I left it. Amazing landscape. <laughs> oh, maybe I should take the trail. Still down there? Yep. Still here. Great. I'm just checking. Here. Give me your hand. I'm good, actually. Okay. Want me to drive? Nope. I oh, don't mind. I do. It's a control thing. Sure. Let's just enjoy the serenity, shall we? Got a dumb question. So much for that. How do you know the tusk is still there? It would have turned up in a museum or something by now, right? 
Plus, I haven't seen any Hoysalar exhibition. I've never even heard of Hoysalar before this job. Yeah, well, that's the fault of their last king, really. Young, reckless, flaunted his empire's wealth, built a new capital to house the Tusk, and then led the Persians right to their doorstep. Woo! Look at that! Flamingo Convention! in that. So, quite nice to be outdoors, isn't it? Away from the city. Quieter. You come back here often? No. Oh, oh look at this. Hoysala ruins. Can we get through that gate? I'll check it out. The old capitals. What have we got? Halabadu and Balor. I thought these were Ganesh and Shiva. Hmm, someone's been paying attention. Ganesh was the guardian of Halabadu, the newer of the Hoysala capitals. Shiva was the guardian of the former capital, Balor. Well, the stonework is beautiful, but this isn't much of a defensive wall. Hmm, sculptor's quarters, by the look of it. We're still on the outskirts. Didn't take you for an archaeologist. That would be my dad, actually. I'm just a thief, remember? Hey, is the rental equipped with a winch? Looks that way. Oh, great. That'll make short work of these gates. What, you're just going to pull them down? That's the plan, unless you brought dynamite. This is your gig. Take that as a no. Do the trick. Razor, move, it's an ambush. Shit, take cover. <sighs> Thanks for the heads up. I can wait. You're awfully quiet. I'm just a blast is all. Figured you'd be more of a leave no trace type when it comes to Indian runes. Sentimentality in this line of work? I'll get you killed. Large flying rodents. Actually, no, they're not. Yeah, they are. They're closer to the primates and lemurs. Okay, well, I'll look it up. There we go. Wait it. Stop. A soft. Well spotted. Shit. He's brought a whole battalion with him. Might even be more inside already. Hey, I'm flattered that he's taking us so seriously. We need to get through that gate. All right, we'll slow down. We gotta take care of these jokers first. You have a plan? Yeah. Sure. Here goes nothing. Any words for Cobra One? I'm 
god there. Prove me wrong. Hang on. Oh, I think that's it. That's the way to do it. Not bad work. Thank you for the assist. Let's get going. I'll get the gate open. Bring the car around? Sure. Thank you. This looks to be it. Shotgun. I'm perfectly capable of driving, you know. I'm sure you are, honey. I just prefer to. Oh, it's a lot of ground to cover. True, but unlike your boy Asab, we've got an advantage. The three symbols. Let's have a look at the map. Okay, let's see. We are right about here. I can mark it up as we go. Check out that tower. Bet you could get the lay of the land from up top. Maybe. Okay, I'll keep an eye out for a fox. Perfect. Not that I'm too worried about him, though. You should be. We won't have the advantage of surprise again. I don't think he was expecting much from you. Wait, was that a compliment? That, that sounded like a compliment. His guys are idiots, but a solve is... We just need... Sorry, I need a moment. All finished. The turret is set up. I'm here. What took you so long? Couldn't find the manual. Manual? This is exactly what I've been saying. This gear's outdated. We need real weapons if we're supposed to be a proper army. 
Jinder Sahib always saying that the poor shouldn't be great, but rise up and smash their enemies. Careful, friend. I'm just telling the truth. Anything? Nothing. We are okay. We're good. Hmm? We have something, maybe. You were saying something about a Sarv. Oh, right. These guards may be idiots, but a Sarv is... We just need to stay the hell away from him. Never understood the appeal of people like Sarv. Easy. He finds men who are weak and offers them power. Gives them purpose. Purpose? Sounds more like bullshit to me. How'd you get tangled up with the Sarv anyway? Purpose? Rather not go into it. He certainly seemed to have a thing for you. Don't remind me. Proved useful at the time, but... No. Uh, do tell. Rather not. Maybe over drinks? Not enough alcohol in the world. the military expert. What's the Saab's strategy here? He spread out his men, hoping to stop us in our treks. Not what I would do. So what would you do if you were a Saab? Besides lose the beard, hang back, let you do the heavy lifting, then swoop in and grab up the task once you've done all the hard work. Devious. Practical. Mitigates a lot of risks. Lucky you're on my team. Yeah, you are. I'm a little surprised the Saab's not doing the same thing. Maybe his expert knows more than we think. Right. All the more reason to wrap this up quickly, then. Coming. Copy that. Trucks. Looks clear out here. Interesting circular motif. Like the disc. We're definitely in the right place. 
Check it out. It's Ganesh's trident. Ganesh, remover of obstacles. That's very good. Oh, well. Figured if we were looking for a task, I should read up on him. Okay, well, he's a good one to know. You pray to him when you start something new or need to clear your mind of doubts and worry. Not yet. <laughs> Waiting on Cobra 8. Let's keep this going as long as we can. Copy that. What? Got one down over here. Watch yourselves. That's a lot of them. You all right? I'm fine. Apart from working for a reckless treasure hunter. Okay. Where to next? Hmm. Okay, that's not it. No, this. What's the trick here? What? Look like a button. Yeah, I just wanted you to have a go at something. What's this? That's a good sound. One of the spokes on the wheel just turned around. Huh. The locks are retracting when I turn the wheels. So then there's probably five in total. Four to go then. about you. That's two. Hey, here's another. I'll get it. Found you. Only one left. <laughs> Last but not least. <laughs> that should do it. Okay. Back to the big wheel thing. Big wheel thing? What are <laughs> archaeological thing? <laughs> big wheel thing works. Come on. Looks like we're going under. Radio. <laughs> ah, here we go. Well, looky here. What are you willing to bet? Told you it's some kind of key. Gold star for you. Now let's see what it does. What is it? Ancient Horsela jigsaw puzzle? Ah, of course. 
house. I'm making a trident. It's Ganesh. Hello, sir. Now what? Now I guess we turn this crank and see what happens next. You think it's safe? You know that treasure hunting is not a good gig for the risk of us, right? Neither is being a mercenary. Difference is when I pull the pin on a good night, I'll know what's going to happen next. My way's much more fun. Did you hear that? You feel that? Look at that. Holy hell. There's a massive relief carved into the side of that mountain. And you were worried that we were going to turn that crank and die. Guess it's good I've got an archaeologist's daughter with me. It must have been fun growing up, eh? It had its moments. I learned a lot. Hoysalar Empire was kind of his thing. Took up a lot of his time, though. Me, if I go digging for treasure, I better make a buck or two. Oh, sure. I don't take big risks without a good payday. I imagine so. Like running an army, huh? That's a big responsibility. Second nature. It's my father's company. He retired, I took over. Family business. Mm. Made a real mess of it. But well, you should know. Heard you and those Drake brothers are close. Yeah, well, it's a conversation for another time. So, where to next? That fort embedded in the mountain is worth a look. And definitely that fort in the lake bed. I suppose I should have asked about the Drakes before I took the job. Not much to tell. I know Nate pretty well, Sam less so. He seemed to just appear out of thin air. <laughs> Last one back to the car buys dinner. I brought MREs. You're no fun.
I'm coming. Oh, you're clear. For real this time. You handed yourself on. All things considered. Yeah. All things considered. That's high praise coming from you. It is. Mountains and make them. Yes and yes. Hey, just so you know, Nathan Drake is no longer in the picture. You don't have to worry about him. Behind my concerns. Why do you accept my offer? I'm not one to look a gift to anymore. Especially with everyone wanting to see me fall. I hear that. But on the plus side, Oh, there's a plus side? Oh, when people have low expectations, it's much easier to take them by surprise. As far as I'm concerned, this business is tough enough on your own. You have to take any advantage you can. You always worked alone? Mostly. How old were you when you started? Young. Learned quickly enough I needed to let people think they were getting their way, and then I could get the upper hand. Too subtle for me. I always prefer the direct approach. Yeah, whatever works, I say. I'll be right back. You got it. <laughs> Time to go. Fraser, want to climb it with me? I'll keep watch for a soft forces. Right. Don't drive off, though. Don't take too much. Up and away. Easy does it. All right, Papa. So far, so good. the fun <laughs> nearly there all three symbols all in one place nice Shiva's axe let's see here aimed right at those Hoysala ruins it's an old fortress tucked into the mountainside I'll just mark that on the map with an axe huh I wonder what that could be for future reference. Let's see what's behind the trident. Glad I didn't try to take those jerks on by myself. Last but not least, the Bodor. And another old fortress. Sitting smack dab in the middle of the lake bed. I'll jot a bow on the map in that spot. Yes, I 
I should look for a call button before climbing up. Definitely. All three symbols up top, each pointing to a different structure. No kidding. So we know where else we need to visit now? Indeed we do. Incredible. You got that right. Want a closer look? Sure. Magnificent. How long do you suppose it takes to carve something like this? Years. Decades, even. The Hoi Sala certainly did have a knack for stonework. And the war, it seems. That too. They must have made these to commemorate their victories against the Persians. Looks like they put up a good fight. They did. Pity it didn't last. But their loss is our gain, right? That carving looks familiar. That carving? is an exact match for the disc. So what does that mean? I don't know, but it looks as though we have two more symbols to find. Copy that. All righty, let's roll. Tight? Sure. Go ahead.
Sov's men have that sight. Well, here goes nothing. In the clear. Let's have a look along. Don't recognize this. It's not one of the three symbols. Still, could be a chance to make some extra cash. Interesting. Some kind of Hoysala token. a token of some kind. Old Hoysala thingy. Think we need it? Need? Probably not. Want? Definitely. Solves men have that side too. up there. Parashurama's bow. Matches the symbol in the tower. So, Parashurama. 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 Right. Who was he again? Okay. Six avatar of the god Vishnu. A fearsome warrior. Shall we? Sure. This should do the trick. Okay. Let's go 
Well inside. What do you suppose this place was? Hard to say. A fortress? Not the right layout for a temple. <laughs> up. We go up. Ah! Nice to be up at that shithole finally. I was starting to think the boss was all talk. I'd watch your mouth. Sorry. Soon it won't matter. Once we have the task, the people will follow like sheep. Yeah, even the mighty Indian army will tremble. I can't wait. Got lucky! That's it. We're clear. Probably a lure to the others. Can't be helped. Come on. There, on the mountain! Here come the others. Clear. It won't be the last of them. There was a big truck parked out front. We'll keep our eyes open. We'd better. We walk right up a cliff. You do have a sense of humor. Would have preferred a head start over a sob. See that? Looks like another fortress. Let's find a way up. <laughs> Follow me. so relaxed. Didn't you hear those gunshots? I did. You worry too much. Our brothers are trained by Asav himself. What? <laughs> Shit! <sighs> Don't make a hell of a racket.
Are we clear? Maybe. We're clear. Whoa! Good. Good to be clear. I'm sure you can find your way over here. Oh, definitely. Figured you'd want to take the easy way over. Oh, there you are, having fun. Just like the monkey bars in primary school. I'd say this looks safer than the playground at my school. Uh, nearly there. Made it. I'm impressed. You're impressed. I'm tired. Let's get this done. All right. I'm guessing it'll be a go this time. Good guess. Sharama. Right. Let's turn the water on. Well, well. What's to say it's not different this time? What if it's fire or something? You're messing with me. I'm totally messing with you. <laughs> Here we go. Mm -hmm. oh. well, I'm a little disappointed about it, Kaya. Another waterfall. Yeah. It's two out of three now. Also, I went to an absurd amount of trouble to hide the tusk. Well, the tusk was the symbol of Hoysala dominance, representing their wealth and their might. A nice trophy for the Persians. Yeah. My dad always thought that the tusk was something even greater, though. What? Your dad was after the tusk? Oh, my dad was obsessed with it. He spent every day and night researching it. All our money wasted on fruitless expeditions. Heard that one before. Ugh. So what came of it? I don't know. <laughs> well, he sent me and my mum away. He said it was no longer safe. And off to Australia we went. <laughs> and now here I stand, on the outskirts of Halibadu. That's... pretty funny. Last stop. The fort embedded in that mountain. That'll be the one with the axe. At least your accent makes sense now. Yeah. Fraser's not exactly an Indian surname either. It was my mum's. Let's find a way to get back down to the car. Sounds good. <laughs> ah, this is open now. Mountain left. In <laughs> Makes more sense why it solves after the tusk now. Figured he just wanted the money, like us. He'll use it to rally people to his cause, wavered in the government's face. Just like all the other times. This has happened before? Ever since the young king lost to the Persians, 
Everyone's wanted to lay claim to it, to this land. And here I thought we were just going on a treasure hunt. We are. Let men like Asav fight over it. It's none of our concern. Fighting wars was my concern for a time. Good point. But you did it for the cash. Usually. What about when you worked for Asav? <laughs> Definitely a cash grab. Hardly worth the trouble. Ouch. Why do it then? Needed to establish my rep, eh? Figured I'd start with the worst of the bunch. Nowhere to go but up after that. Beautiful out here. Is this your first visit to India? Yeah. Not a lot of hope. Fraser, well, we've got company up ahead. Let's get a closer look. Where did you put that token you found? Did you tell us? Hang on. Stand down! Yeah. Stand down! How did this happen? Huh. All clear. Let's see what we've got here. Nothing here. They must have beaten me to it. Finders keepers. Not a lot of perks in this line of work, but travel is definitely one of them. Where have you been? Ah, uh, where haven't I been? Whichever question works for you. Well, I haven't been to the States. Really? Yeah, well, the stuff I'm looking for is usually old, right? The US was only founded a couple of hundred years ago. Hey, over there, in that cliff wall. See that archway? Looks intact. You coming with? I feel like uh, my legs. Uh, right, Theo. Uh.
What is this place? You got me. <laughs> well, will you look at that? Monkeys. You seem excited. I like monkeys. Looks like there's something in the structure there. Yeah, monkeys. Besides monkeys. Have we here? Let's see. Is it just me, or does that look like a map? Looks like our map. Huh. I'll just jot that down. There's a slot. Just the right size for a token. Let's give it a whirl. They filled up the spots on the map. Yeah. Wonder what happens if we find them all. Look at that bracelet. It must have belonged to one of their queens. Another token for my collection. What about the symbols up there? Symbols? Those figures must be the old Hoysala kings. Eleven, all in all. <laughs> you got a prize. A very nice prize indeed. This'll fetch a pretty penny back home. If I don't keep it. Now what? Let's go see. Maybe there'll be something for you. Hey, look who's here. Grey Langley. Huh? The Grey Langley. You're adorable. Oh, and now you're blushing. Right, let's go to that last fort. <laughs> let's get out of here. Fraser! Need to ask you something. It's important. Go ahead. You and Nathan Drake. Professional relationship? 
Mostly professional. Oh, God. How? Oh. How? Oh. Hey, you're not one to talk about questionable choices, mate. A Saab? And that other one, the trust fund brat? Hold that thought. Oh, hold up. Careful. The Sov's men might be around. Hey, look. Shiva's axe. Spotted this on the tower, too. Shiva. It was the god of destruction, right? Yes, but maybe not in the way you're thinking. So not blowing things up. Definitely. Once more, with gusto. Here we go. Hey, I'll take care of this one. Okay. Salah versus the tiger. Doesn't seem like a fair fight. Salah won, actually. He was protecting his guru and killed the animal in one blow. It's where the name Hoi Salah comes from. Hoi, meaning strike, in their language. They've left their climbing gear. They should come in handy. Correction. Our climbing gear. Oh. God, a bit hard on the wrists. than most men. I thought we were talking about something. We are. <laughs> what the? Okay, slightly deaf, but 
I'm good. Good. Let's keep moving. Oh my. Okay, let's see what this does. That statue moved. Well, let's see how this goes. Well, I'll be going to hell. That's elaborate. Oh, for goodness sake. Three statues with two different <gasps> symbols in them. Oh. A star and rings. They're all going to last under some, but I like your descriptions better. Let's make an act. Shiva. Come on, 
Let's get this over and done with. Yep. Whoa! Shit! See? I told you it was dangerous. You hurt. Just my dignity. Here we go. There'd be water. And now that's three. You know, you're pretty good at this whole treasure hunting thing. I'm a quick study. Mm. One question, though. I reckon that you could pretty much do anything you want. Why are you so keen to get Shoreline back? Seriously? Mm. My partner turns my own men against me. My lieutenant makes off with a bounty. Nathan and Samuel Drake get off scot-free and you're asking why I want Shoreline back. Yeah. was on my watch. I lost it on my watch. All right, what the hell is that thing you keep playing with? It's my stress toy. It showed up in the mail a few weeks after we got to Australia. All right, we better get a move on. We don't want a solve to get ahead of us. You know, I've had my fair share of screw-ups. <laughs> you just pick yourself up and move on. I don't like to fail. No one does, love. Let's head back to the car. Gotta love a shortcut. Glad we don't have to go back the way we came. <clears throat> I would have made you dodge the axes. <clears throat> about huh. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> right. Hey, you're not one to talk about questionable choices, mate. A Saab and that other one, the trust fund brat. They weren't a choice. They were means to an end. But Drake, he wasn't so bad. I mean, she just thinks he's so clever. Oh, he's incredibly irritating. Impossibly so, but he's charming in his own way. And it was fun while it lasted. That's all one can ask for, I suppose. But I have to ask, did you two take turns talking, or did you just talk over each other? Look, for what it's worth, it's your kick-ass reputation that got you this job. Plus, I figured you could use the money. You're not wrong. Honestly, though, it's actually nice working with a woman for a change. <laughs> you are. Not many of us out here. This one arms dealer demanded to speak to the man in charge, then tried backing out when I informed him I was running the show. Uh, what did you do? Broke both his legs. <laughs> You're not kidding. Just trying to level the playing field. Oh, don't trust Ross. <laughs> I should put that one on my business card. Can't you just walk away? Be done with Shoreline? I was born in Chips. I don't have a choice. Oh. There's always a choice. <laughs> Here we go. Come on, I need a second set of eyes. <laughs> Should we dance? Try not to break it this time. Sassy. You ready? 
Yeah. Just, um, taking it all in. Welcome to downtown Halabadoo. Last known resting place, Tusk Ganesh. Spectacular. Hmm. Huh. And what? Doesn't it look like there's a dam or something between the two Ganesh statues? Must have been eroded by the falls. So how do we get in? Hang on. Yeah. Look at the crown. It's not wear and tear. You're right. Maybe it was a watchtower. Bet that's how the Persians got in. I have heard about this place for so long. <laughs> I can't believe I'm actually looking at it. You should take a picture. Send it to your dad. <laughs> Great idea. What? You're one of those cultures who can't work a computer? Just take the picture. Show it to him in person then. No, it's uh, just a few decades too late for that. Look, I'm... Oh. Oh, God, please, no. It's fine. <laughs> Shall we, uh, head over to Halibadoo? Maybe their king should have used their wealth to protect his people and not make such an inviting target. way up. by the way. I saw. Think you can get back up here? Yeah. Keep going. I'll catch up. <laughs> yeah. I've got you. All right. I can manage. Come on up. <sighs> but only because you said please. I didn't, actually. Don't you say Ganesh was the removal of obstacles? He's more than happy to place him in your way if he thinks you'll benefit. That why the horse and I chose him for Halibadu? He's also the lord of good fortune, the one you pray to for prosperity and success. Got it. That's cool. Amazing. 
Great, China. Thanks. I'll be doing better when we get to the crown. I'm surprised we haven't seen the Sarb yet. Not on wood. Oh, he's arrived. Dalt will see him up here. Why is that? He doesn't have the stones to climb this high. <laughs> I see a place we can swing over to the crown. What? Oh, 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 shit. Shit. Oh, thank you. Hurry up and climb. I'm slipping. Worth it. Impressive. Yeah. Oh. No. How do we get off this thing? Okay. Easy does it. Feels more sturdy up here. Don't jinx us. <laughs> Here's our way in, courtesy of the Persian army. <laughs> wow, nice shot. Persians must have had a trebuchet. Trebuchet? Can't you just say catapult like a normal person? A trebuchet is a type of catapult. It can handle heavier projectiles like this one and fling them longer distances. Right. You learned that in your military training? I looked it up on Wikipedia. Like a normal person. Ready? After you. <laughs> Incredible. It's our old friends, Harasharama and Ganesh. Well, when the Hindu gods aren't off fighting demons, they're sometimes fighting each other. <laughs> Ganesh isn't even armed. I guess it's not really his style. Did they just carve this whole place out of the mountain? Sure looks like it. Hey, look, armaments. You were right, Nadine. I have my moment. This operation. Now we're getting somewhere. Hey, another one of these doors. Now let's see. Get 
some light. Feels like a crypt in here. Crypts and burials aren't really a Hindu thing. They generally favor cremation. It's a beautiful ceremony, Antiyishti. Sanskrit for last sacrifice. Sacrifice? The idea is our bodies are merely borrowed vehicles and you're returning it so that others might benefit. It's a lovely sentiment. Too late for these poor bastards. Hey, up here. What the hell? Jesus. This was it. Their final stand. Oh, wasn't enough to save their empire. But their loss is our gain. Here's our way in. Nadine, can you lend a hand with this chap? Sure. Come on, old fellow. There we go. Excuse me. Sorry. We must be getting close. Hopefully closer than these guys. This device looks familiar. Oh. Well, that's different. What is all this? If I had a guess, I'd say it's some kind of lock mechanism to open that door. Okay, on the left, we have Shiva gifting Parashurama the axe, and on the right, we have Parashurama chopping off Ganesha's tusk. Wait, with the axe? Yeah. The one that Shiva, Ganesha's father, gave to Parashurama? Yeah. <laughs> it's messed up. That's family. Come on, let's see about opening that door. So how does all this work? Uh, only one way to find out. Let's see what this does. I think that's it. You did it. Doors open. Yeah. Got it. Salah and the Tiger. Fingers crossed. That's supposed to happen? I don't know. Just don't get us killed. You're no fun. Ready? Oh. Careful. Mm. Amazing. What the Shiva? Mm, my thoughts exactly. Razor? Ross? Oh no. No, it's okay. I think we're gonna be okay. Okay? Where the hell's the tusk? I don't know. None of this makes any sense. Yeah, it does. The Hoysala sent us on a fool's errand. I think you're right. Terrific. No, hear me out. Ganesh is the symbol of... Halabadu. And Shiva was the symbol of... Belor. Which was the old... The old capital. Exactly. What if the king built this spectacular city, and it was a wonderful target for the Persians? And the old capital was forgotten. So this whole city was a decoy. What if they let it get plundered to protect Balor? And their treasure. I'm willing to bet the tusk was never here at all. So where's Balor? This is definitely not supposed to happen. 
Was that? <laughs> I'm really embarrassed for you right now. <laughs> hey. Correct me if I'm wrong, but wasn't there a huge waterfall here? There was. What the hell is that? Aqueduct. <laughs> Water's channeling there from the falls. Amazing. Did we do this just now? Well, technically I did. Cocky. <laughs> Look, uh, sorry if I cut you close to the bone back there. You know, you two would have got on like a house on fire. He was also a really stubborn dickhead. <laughs> you know, none of this could have possibly gone unnoticed. We should probably get out of here. Good point. Follow me. All right. Oh. The water is being channeled toward the gate, so let's follow the aqueduct. Copy that. I'll take point. So they flooded their city to protect their secrets. Do you think the soldiers needed the most people? Almost until the war is the best policy. You need your people behind you 100%. So you think Asav's keeping his men on the job? Huh? Maybe. But check out this watch. Took it from that old man in the city. Dumb bastard. <laughs> huh? Right. You take left, I take right.
never knew what hit him. There's another way out. Is that thing carved on the floor? What do you suppose it is? Nothing good. See those channels? Doubt they were meant for water. Oh. <laughs> Up here. I think there's a way through. being left to rot in a cell to getting tortured. Uh. Hear that? I do. Yep, there's the aqueduct. Uh. Up here! There's a breach. The Eye of Shiva. It's impressive. My man worked for a week and turned up nothing. They probably hired the wrong expert. Perhaps. You know, a Hoysala poet once wrote of a young king who showed mercy and thus ended our rituals. But the old kings, they understood that progress demands sacrifice. <laughs> Is that what you tell your men? All right. <clears throat> so, in times of war, these aqueducts, they would run red through the capital. Those who would not fight had to be used to inspire those who would. God, let's make this quick. Swing in the mist. Proud of yourself? A little, yeah. Come on. Slippery. You see, to rule a people, you must first sow chaos. I will incite my civil war, 
stamp out the weak bloodline of the young king. Starting with you. Take it easy. You've been out for almost half an hour. Half an hour? Yeah. Oh, shit. <sighs> shit, the Sarv's got the disc. Just hang on. Oh, we gotta get going. Hey, <sighs> relax, all right? Think you can manage? Yeah, I've had worse nights, believe me. <laughs> I won't ask. <laughs> it's good to have you back. There's... There's two of you now, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's go and get our disc. And some guns. And some guns. <sighs> uh, can I just say, you were not joking about Asav. I mean, wow, he looks so unassuming. Right? That's exactly what he wants. Pretty sure his glasses are an affectation. To make him look harmless or smart? Both. <laughs> but he is smart. Was a doctor before he took up his course. So he left behind a lucrative career. I'm sure at one point he thought it was the right thing to do. Hey, you sure you're good to go? As good as I'll ever be. Just need to take it easy for a bit. <laughs> up here, go slow. Get that thing open. Holy shit. Actually, that's a holy cow. That's Nandy, Shiva's gatekeeper. That's got to be the entrance to the old capital. It had to be triggered by the aqueducts. Yep. Oh, shit. Asov's already heading inside. Okay, well, we better get down there. Come on. No. What do you mean, no? The same Drake. It's the goddamn big but it's same Drake. Yeah. Peace. You know what? This is a good thing. I can kill two birds with one stone. Nadine. What? What? Sam's kind of the reason why we're here in the first place. Oh, you better be joking. This was my deal. <gasps> Sam went ahead to do recon oh, for me on the disc, but then he went missing and I couldn't leave You knew him my history death. with Sam and then you dragged me into this anyway? Your history with the Sarv made you the obvious... <laughs> oh. Don't hold back or anything. Oh, I did. You know what, Nadine? doesn't change anything, you'll still get your share. Yeah? Or maybe you and Sam will cut me out as soon as you get the task. Come on, man, that's not how I operate. That's exactly how your type operates. <sighs> and to think I trusted you. Listen, I was going to tell you about Sam. I swear I was just waiting for the right time to... <sighs> it's fine. I could use the exercise. Shit. Hey. 
This is what I get for being honest. Socked in the door. Well, Mandy's not too far. Oh. Slow down. Slow down. Well, at least I've still got my dignity. This way. Yeah. Glad I thought to pack painkillers. Of course, they're back in the four by four. <coughs> oh, right. That's more like it. You're right. Come back for more. Save it. Never get anywhere with these bastards looking for us. Come on.
babysitter. Just get the job done. That's it. We're clear. <laughs> You're welcome. You lied to my face. I didn't lie. I just left out the part about Sam. <laughs> Incredible. Look, Asav is getting a head start and we need to hurry. We? Oh, shit. Look, I... Spit it out! Okay, cards on the table. I need your help. Should have thought of that before. And if you want the tusk, you need mine. Look, I screwed up, okay? This is your idea of an apology? Well, if it helps to keep your head in the game, then sure. Listen, we both have something to lose here. Am I right? Just so we're clear, my priority's the task. Not Sam Drake, and certainly not you. Fair enough. What are you doing? Making sure you're not followed. Huh. That's a good idea. Whoa, what was that? Exactly what it sounded like. Ugh. What the hell are they doing? Taking shortcuts. Kings ushered their people into these tunnels. What? We didn't find the entrance. We found the back door. Okay. Looks like a step well. You don't care. Shh. You hear it? She's wounded. Those explosions we heard must have triggered the collapse. Easy, girl. Shh, shh, shh. It's okay. <clears throat> Sorry, girl. We're gonna get you out. <clears throat> Just a bit more. <clears throat> some of this? Here you go.
Pas mal. Good appetite. Look, I am. Um, I'm not very good at the whole people thing. You're a selfish dickhead. Yeah. You're right. I am a selfish dickhead. Yeah. <laughs> it's good to hear you say it. <laughs> well, did you hear that, Dad? Did get something from you after all. What happened with your father? He was the guy that couldn't walk away. The Ministry of Culture offered to finance one more of his expeditions, because this time he said he was onto something big. <laughs> he was always onto something big. But. Bandits raided his camp, and, um... Local authorities found him weeks later. And this stupid thing is all I have left of him. I'm sorry. Oh, hey. <laughs> he certainly made his choice. So, listen, Fraser, you don't have to. Oh! It's a doing. Charging, I think. Tell it to stop! Because I speak elephant. She was so distressed. Hey, about the whole Sam. Uh, look, I get it. All right. I've got my own shit to sort out as well. Let's not have that stand in the way anymore, eh? Okay. Deal. Come well, on. if we accomplish nothing else today. At least we reunited a family. Oh, just keep your distance. We've got a car for them. Right. Here. I'll take this one. Oh. Mm. Okay, mm. thanks. Move over a little? That's good. Now, reach that way and hold out your hand. What? Much safer way to pet an elephant. Much obliged. Wow, but elephants are smaller than I remember. You're probably used to seeing African elephants. These are Indian elephants. Nice of a serve to leave some supplies for us. Mm. Load up if you need it. Good call.
Up here. Upstairs. I see light through the water. It's not every day you get to see a totally hidden city that nobody else has seen for centuries. Apart from Asov. Apart from Asov. And a few of his men. And a few of his men. You ready? You just totally crushed that moment. You know that, right? How do we get in? I don't know. Looks like dwellings along the side. So let's go up. Search every inch of this place. Hang on. Looks like we're
Ah, let's see where this goes. Look, there must be a way into this way into the city somewhere. Whoa! Up there. Guess Asav couldn't find an entrance, so he made his own. I think Asav would have more respect for this place. The Sovereign respects the soul. It's a shame, in a way. The lure's hidden from the world. And now we know why. Another god. I'm guessing it's one of the hoists our kings. How many kings did they have in their day? Eleven. The young king was the last in their line. Well, his plan worked. Saved his city from the Persians. There we go. Up this way. They've blown the entrance. That must have been the explosion we heard. Gotta be another way in. <laughs> in here, Nadine. <coughs> Tastes great. Let's go. Oh, damn it! Oh, shit! It blocked us again. It's a 
big city. There must be. Ah, look there. The queen and her handmaidens. Maybe these were the royal bards. Some statues of women for a change. Women actually played a big role in Hoysala society, particularly the queens. Not surprised, with the kings and men going off to fight all the time. They were also involved in the fine arts, poetry, music, that sort of thing. Balua was their city, in a way. Well, what on earth is this? What is it? Ancient Kannad script. Looks like stanzas. Could be poetry. This place a library? Seems so. Looks like a drum. It is a drum. They keep all sorts of things in here. Fraser, over here. What do we have here? Incense? Or herbs? Look at this. It's incredible. It's an altar of some kind. Looks like the king suffered dearly for their people. They weren't just protecting the tusk. Historians believe that it was a symbol of power and dominance, but I reckon they misunderstood. It was a symbol of their people, their culture. It was a symbol of them. What sort of this? Sarf get that task. No. No, we can't. Thank you. Thank me after we get out of this alive. <laughs> Fair point. Don't forget Ganesh. Oh. grandeur hidden away from the world but how do we get over there <laughs> come on it's deep enough Mm-hmm. 
Okay. That's our way back in. Copy that. Thanks for going first, eh? You're welcome. Ready? I've got my eye on you. It's kind of a tight squeeze here. Oh, hello. Nice city you've got here. Place is started. <gasps> okay. Easy does it. Now, what? Got water in my ears. I hate that. <clears throat> but I wouldn't give her a towel. <clears throat> my God. Why are you seeing this? You know, at this point, I've run out of words. I leave the head down shit. That's what? What on earth is this place? The throne room. Place to hide a magnificent bejeweled tusk. Let's hope so. I see stairs going up. Not they're mostly broken. I'll have to find another way up. Uh, shit. I just realized something. I think I know what it is. That we're gonna need that disc soon? Exactly. Well, not much we can do until we find a salve. Or until he finds us. Over here, Nadine. Copy that. Now we're getting somewhere. I see a few more of those cranks around the chamber. <clears throat> the hand is moving. Be more specific. Right hand. Lower. Right hand. Maybe it's because this statue's enormous. But I just now noticed Shiva's got a king cobra for a necklace. <clears throat> okay. Now what? Well, there's got to be more to this. Just need to figure out what it is.
Aha. Here we go. Okay, I've got this one. Bringing down Shiva's drum. Oh, we'd better get a move on. Jump to the drum. Thought it was an hourglass. It's an hourglass shaped drum. Hey. Hey now. Grab onto something. Okay. Steady. Oh. And we're good. Time to see what's up there. Not up to me. What? Oh. Huh. It's running all the way down to the hill. That's cool. Bet I need to do the same on the other side. Safe bit. I'll wait. Uh. Sure thing. Another crank up ahead. Damn, that's crazy. Are you doing that? No, uh, the statues come to life. That's what I thought. No going back now. my pants. Wow. I can see my house from here. meeting you here yeah let's see what's up there shall we is that it we'll find out in a moment The light is shining on that statue across the way. Oh, I guess we're not done. When the Hoysala want to protect something, they don't do it halfway. Come on. Now. What's all this then? <laughs> ah, here we go. <laughs> Sing it to me. It's a prison. <laughs> that looks right. Yeah. Now, we tend to the other two. You were right? Of course I was. About what? What you said. Back in that place with all the statues and axes. Things always come in threes. Three points of a trident, the light split into three beams.
Light's hitting the statue, but nothing's happening. Look up. The statue's not in the right place. <gasps> ah, right. Nadine, be a dear. We're ahead of you. Well, shit. This one's busted. Let me see. Hang on. You got that? Yeah. There. You make a phenomenal statue. Get over there. This thing's heavy. Right. Careful. That ledge doesn't look sturdy. Copy that. Okay, that did something. So I can put this down? No, wait for it. What's happening? I can't see from over here. Just uh, hold still for just a sec. All this water, it's a cleansing ritual. What's happening? Oh, you can put down the mirror now. Oh, shit. They found us! Get you ready! Shit! <laughs> ah! was quite the fall. You had me worried. Come, it's time for a reunion. He wouldn't give you up, despite my efforts to persuade him. Sam! Jesus. Hey, you made it. Dude. It's all right. He is like a girl. Is that right? How about we get these cuffs off and I'll show you how girls hit. Yeah. <sighs> 
hell is she doing here? You said find out, my god, help. I must admit, you are quite the schemer. First you steal my disc, then you have your expert run me around in circles, huh? <laughs> That's clever. Perhaps there's a little Indian blood in you after all. Let's finish what we started. All right, all right. <clears throat> so, Nadine Ross. Don't talk to me. <laughs> I was gonna say, you look good. Was I not clear? <clears throat> What's that smell? Oh, I'm sorry. I haven't exactly had access to running water and soap recently. All oh, the people you could have brought with you. She saved my ass more than once, you know. You do remember that uh, she also tried to kill Nathan and I many, many times. And to be fair, you two tried to do the same to her. Yeah, but if, that's not the point. The point is that the second we turn our backs, there will be a knife in there. I can hear every word you're saying. I know! I trust her. <laughs> you know what? Fine. I guess I'm just a little bit irked that we are walking away with nothing. But I guess you know what that's like, right? <laughs> oh. oh, my. Real classy, thank you. Time and place, children. More that came from. Bike racks after school. Ugh. Just hurry up! the kings have one final test. Looks like you won't be needing us, though, so we'll just be on Oh, on day. the contrary. Surely you know the story. <laughs> you see, Shiva gave Parashuram the mighty axe that struck Ganesh in the face, bringing Shiva's son, one of the greatest of the gods, to his knees. Another casualty of war. Don't. Yeah, seriously, Chloe, he's just gonna kill him! Uh, he's right. But if you refuse, <coughs> you will watch them die, inch by inch. All right! <coughs> Chloe, don't! Don't you give this schmuck what he wants. Quiet! Okay. 
testing my patience. Yielding. Gags. It's going to fall. Quiet! Ganesh, quite an obstacle you've placed in my path. That's it. No. What are you doing? Shut up and watch. He yielded. Unexpected. Holy shit, she's got balls, huh? I, I don't understand. It's an idiom. That's because you've got it all twisted, my friend. Ganesh allowed himself to be struck by the axe. That makes no sense. <laughs> Not to a selfish prick, no. You <laughs> see, Ganesh could have defeated Parashurama easily. But if he had, that would have made Shiva's axe look weak. Powerless. Gonna sacrifice himself to preserve his father's honor. See, even she gets it, not a drop of Indian blood in her. Magnificent, isn't it? Oh, what? Nothing to say now? Oh, if you like, I can tell you where to stick it. <laughs> well, my friends, I would love to kill you myself, but we must not anger the gods, for you have brought me a great fortune. Okay, then, what are you doing? I'm going to flood the chamber. I will miss you. Come on, is this really necessary? You know, nothing is ever truly destroyed. Only purified and reborn. 
Just shoot us and get it over with. Right? As the water fills your lungs, you will have time to reflect on the choices that brought you here. Perhaps in your next lives, you will fare better. Prick. I don't know about you guys, but I got a lot of regrets swimming around in my head right now. Well, tell me about it. I was really looking forward to kicking your ass again. Hey, you know, I'm not exactly thrilled about drowning next to you, either. Could you give it a rest, guys? I'm trying to concentrate. What are you doing? A little preparation goes a long way. Ha <laughs> ha, yes! Bias. What do you mean? Still very soft talking about <clears throat> heading to the old rail yard. Something about an arms deal. He's selling the tusk. It's not much for preserving his culture. Hey, just a second. Listen, uh, <clears throat> back there. Thanks for professional courtesy. <laughs> of course. So, are we good? No. I figured. If we hurry, we can intercept them before they make the sale. Huh. And there's our ride. These are nice. There. Railroad tracks. Stop here. So we'll have lookouts throughout the area. Best door on the side of caution. Right, right, right. And then we lose the tusk. You're welcome to stay behind. I'm just saying. Like. All right, all right, all right, right. Less talking, more walking. So all that time in Asov's care, and you couldn't get any intel on the bias? Uh, well, I tried. Asov's a cagey one. Almost never talks shop in front of me. Can't imagine why. Hey, he trusted me enough to believe I was an expert in all this hoist salad. Hoist and law. By the way, thanks for keeping him busy for us. Yeah, you know, I wanted to buy you some time in case you were coming to get me. Father would never let me hear the end of it. Found the train tracks. Sort of. Kind of a shock seeing all these modern structures after the Hosala ruins. I don't know if they're British or Portuguese. 1800s, they're so not quite modern. Shit, you know? Drop that! The sword comes to a Let's try to. There we go. This way. I'll be back. 
Should have packed my machete. It'll help. No problem. Go ahead. No, no. Me first. Much obliged. Wow. A detour? You coming? Uh, I would, but the bridge here is a little busted. So jump! <laughs> I'm flattered you think I'm capable of superhuman feats, but it's kind of far. Never know until you try. Sit tight, Sam. We'll get you across. Hey, this might do the trick. Holy mother of shit, this is heavy. One piece? Yeah. Go team! Come on. We're exposed up here. You know, I feel so much safer with her around. I never would have found you without her help, okay? Okay. She just wants to kill me or something. No, well, don't give her a reason to. Nadine, see if there's something up there we can use. I can do it. No, we're good. Come on, China, I'll give you a boost. All right, just trying to be chivalrous. Just watching me. Uh, yeah. oh, got it. You see anything up there we can climb on? Like a crate or something? This should work. <laughs> nice. Got it. Go ahead, Sam. Age before beauty. Oh, you're too kind. No. She's just worried I'll kick it over and leave you down there. Right. Uh... How about I scout ahead a little? I wouldn't really leave him. Yeah, well, play nicer. <laughs> Sam, see your way forward? Yeah, uh, sorta. We'll uh, definitely need your grappling hooks. Okie doke. <laughs> On my way. <laughs> oh, Chloe! Oh, shit! Oh. Oh, okay. You alright? Yeah. Great, I'll just borrow Nadine's hook and... I have a better idea. What are you... Don't move. Oh, come on, hey. I said don't move. <coughs> Unbelievable. Hey, ow, ow, ow. <laughs> hey, too, Chloe. Thanks for scouting ahead, Sam. Yeah. Leave the rope for me, uh, please. You got it. Uh, There's a cave up there cut through to the tricks. I take it she's going first? Why don't you go ahead? Leave the rope for me. You got it. Next time, bring your own bloody rope. Heads up! Okay. What is this place? Light? Sure. All right, well, there's only a few of them. We can probably... What? That sub guy doesn't do things halfway. It's going to be quite a show. <sighs> Son of a bitch. Sure? What the hell are they 
they doing there? We got rid of all these guys. Hey, sir. Saying. Hey. You cool? Yeah, I'm cool. Because I need you to be cool. I'm cool. All right, ladies. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to take the guy on the right. You two go ahead and Shit. just... She said she was home! Go! 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 She like mine in the hot station? Yeah! Don't stop for you! Following your example? Yeah, but... Come on. No way I'm letting anyone from Shaw on get that task. That RPG trashed the exit. Maybe, maybe not. Let's go see. Coming. Thanks. How are you doing in there? Good. We're nearly to the rail yard. Shouldn't be long now. Until Sam made me picture God's balls. Where are you? By the radio town. Hey, <laughs> did you see way up? Fraser, we'll find something you can hook your rope to. Ah, oh, sounds like a plan. Got something for you. The bracelet against that strut. I'm doing it. There. Okay. Come on up. Well, that doesn't sound good. It's buckling! Jesus! Run, quickly! his supply chain they were looking for outside help. The salt must be pissed. <clears throat> yeah, the shoreline will look at my fatty one. I, I mean, forget it. It's true. <clears throat> <clears throat> Yeah. Oh. 
Stuck. Let me a hand. Sure. Hey, you know this might actually work. You know you could help if you wanted. Yeah, it's all right. You two got it. <laughs> See that coming? Everyone all right? Fine. Ah. Uh, yeah. So much for our way up, though. Yeah, maybe there's a way through, though. No, no good. Way through here is blocked. A little high. Sam, bet you're tall enough to get that ladder. Come on, I'll boost you up. I'll give you a hand. More the merrier. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm okay with this. Sure. Ready when you are. <laughs> Oh, have you ever noticed? Oh shit! Sorry! <laughs> any spare ladders up there by any chance, Sam? I will look around. Been a crazy couple of days, hasn't it? Yeah, well, I can't say I was expecting Sam Drake to come back into my life. You know, I wasn't sure if I could trust you either. Had to test you a little bit. Hmm. That include making me wait two hours in a war zone for you? Certainly tested my patience. See, in that instance, I was just straight up late. There was this little girl on the market who sold me a scarf. She wouldn't take no for an answer. <laughs> Likely story. Hey, uh, you two head back to the tracks. I found something here that'll work. Yep, coming! <laughs> okay, Sam, what do you got? I have found a crate. Of course you did. Yeah, I'll push it down. Wait, it won't be high enough on its own. Oh, right. Good point. Uh... We'll bring the cart over. We'll meet you halfway. There you go. That's using the old noodle. The what? It's the... Your br the noodle is a saying, as in your brain? That is not what I pictured. There was a compliment. For Christ's sake. <laughs> Switcheroo. Miss Ross. Don't call me Jack. Yeah, well, it's professional courage. In that case, call me man. <laughs> Guess I missed that. Look, nearly there. Sam, you can use my rope. Go ahead, you can use mine. I'm part of the rope club, I'm honored. <laughs> Just keeps getting better and better. Between Asav's man and Shawline, there must be at least a couple dozen guys in there. 
Hang on. Wasn't that great? Uh, guns, ammo, maybe? Uh, maybe. I thought Shawline didn't do arms, did We... <laughs> they didn't. Never mind the crate. Where's the tusk? Well, there's a solve. With... <sighs> Orca. Who? My former lieutenant. <laughs> I remember this guy. Yeah, there he is, in all of his mullet glory. <laughs> right? <laughs> she gets it. Okay, well, the deal's done. Your boy Orca has the task. Let's go relieve him of it. Hey, whoa, 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 wait. A lot of playing, guys. Like I said, there's over a couple dozen guys in there. Relax. You'll live longer. I am so proud. What just happened? Safety is off, chappies. No work for our lookouts, so we're on cleanup. Take extra care with Miss Rod. Oh, great. Chopper's here. Oh, there's bills on the task. No. Let's stick around the greenhouse first. Leave us. Let's bring that sucker down. Thank <laughs> you. 
working well. What the hell have you done with my company? Made it profitable, for starters. I think that was a rhetorical question, love. I should have shot you back on that godforsaken island. I wish you had. It would have spared us the sight of watching you turn tail and run. Why don't you just hash your shit out on your own time, okay? Uh, Tusk, please. You two. Partners. <laughs> Either you've got a piss poor memory or you're even more desperate than I thought. Jeez, I'm just getting it from all sides today, aren't I? I'm not the one reduced to hustling weapons to ragtag insurgents. Ah, there it is, eh? There it is. Always thinking too small. You really think I would have traded this in exchange for munitions? I don't give a shit. Hand over the tusk. That horse belt. You're gonna miss the fireworks, man. I won't ask twice. Fine. <clears throat> Catch! Gun! Nice shot. Thanks. Pattern's a little wide. You Get could... the hell off me. Yep. All right. Hi, a third of that is mine as well. You're splitting, Chloe, Cher. Okay. I know you're new to this, but that's not exactly how it works. Consider it a service charge. You hang on a goddamn second. It's a bomb. What? A Sav traded the tusk for a bomb. Fireworks. Th th this, this is big. Yeah. Those tracks run right through the city. Through the market. So we'll find the nearest town. Notify the authorities. It'll be too late. If that goes off, it'll kill thousands. And that is a terrible shame. But we did get what we came for. I... <sighs> what? You are not seriously going after that train. Okay, fine. Fine, you have a plan? Doesn't seem to be much of a requirement in this organization. Are you really going to let her do this? No, I'm... I mean, she's got a valid point. Shit, I don't know, okay? This is not our fight. You said so yourself. Even if you catch that train, what happens? Disarming the bomb is impossible. You're right. Good. Good, so we'll... We'll call the authorities this and... This isn't our fight. It's my fight. That bomb detonates in the city. It'll spark civil war. I can't walk away. I'm tired of walking away. You'll die. I can live with that. Hey. <clears throat> Save my share of the task, okay? Just in case, right? What, you're not gonna leave me back there with her? Out! No! I call shotgun. Fine. I'll sit in the back. See the 
train! We're gaining on it! Don't slow down! Shit! On the bikes! Run them off the road! He'll be all right. Didn't know you cared. Yeah, he's got the task. Hey, did you catch where they put that giant crate? Near the engine. Right, that's our next stop then. <laughs> Shit, nowhere to climb. the other side. Whoa, easy now. Okay, good. Making progress. Out here. Oh, shit. Company's here. A soft gas. Well, we still have the element of surprise.
to keep moving forward! We need to keep moving!
Any luck? Oh, this one's welded shut too. There must be another way. Oh, if you've got any ideas, I'm all ears. A switch? What? Up ahead, a switch house. If we can get to it, we can divert the train, buy us some time. All right, sounds good. Shit! <laughs> I mean, she seems pretty capable. Sam. All right, I'm just here. Oh, shit! God damn it! Go! I'll keep him at bay. Got the bridge. Shit. Shit. And for what? A city of peasants! Christ, you're insufferable! The blood of the old kings runs through my veins. My people shall rise again. <laughs> Shit! Not you are supposed to be good, Assault! <laughs> This is my land! What could you possibly stand to gain? Oh, it's all about what you have to lose. The bomb! 
I'll just buy another. I'll burn your city, thief. Your people will beg me to save them. Daddy! Let's finish this. Stop! Don't fight. One should know when they're conquered. Your time ends now! Oh, shit. And you! Now you have a conscience. We could have done this so much together. Gotta get out! Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no! get out of that you know I'm just still figuring that out myself and uh Asav I'm down with this train oh, well couldn't have happened to a nicer guy oh. well, you look at that <laughs> wow <laughs> We just did a thing. We did. So, what's next for Nadine Ross? Take back Shoreline, conquer the weapons trade. I'm done with Shoreline. Really? Really? I was thinking I might give this uh, 
treasure hunting where I get another go. I know of any selfish dickheads who might be in need of a partner? Uh, Not you. Okay. Oh, sorry, I only work with professionals. <laughs> right. And where's the tusk? You go. Oh my god. What? Sam. I'm just joking. There you go. You're fi Ow! Okay. Jesus. That was my last cigarette. <laughs> Man, that's a beauty. Yeah. How much, uh, how much do you think that we're gonna get for that baby? Well, surely the Ministry of Culture will give us a, a generous yeah, yeah. finder's fee. <laughs> right? Partner? Elbow. Hmm. Oh! <laughs> you guys are hilarious. <laughs> Ministry of Culture. Oh my god, you're serious. Guns close doors to the system, yeah. Come on, miss it. I got it. Private collector. Huh? Just hear me out for a second. I, I, I understand taking the moral high ground, and that's great. It really is. I am completely on board for that. But if we could just... Don't ruin the moment. <laughs> 